Welcome back to another episode. All right, so today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to uh, take you down a path of analyzing and dissecting WordPress. Uh, the reason why I want to do this is because it's one of the best ways, you know, to learn how to code and also to learn how to code in a specific style or language. So in this case, I'm going to be taking you down the path of WordPress and I'm going to show you um, how to compare uh, different versions of WordPress. And what I mean by that is older versions versus co uh, newer versions. Reason why that's good to do is so you can see, you know, what has changed, um, what corrections were made to deal with, you know, previous patches. And also, you know, you get to learn, you know, from some of the, you know, best developers out there. All right. So how do you do this? Well, I'm using my Atom text editor, right? So I have the version of 4.7 point one right here and then I have the 4.7.2 right here so you look at both files right both folders and you expand them I have them side by side and then you start looking and you're like wow that's a lot of folders subfolders files that's a lot of stuff to you know dive into and to dissect you know how are you going to analyze and find the differences between all of them right so if you're going to go here and then here, you're going to have to go line by line in order to see the differences. All right, that can be pretty cumbersome and that can be tedious. And most people, you know, unless you are a deep researcher, will not do this. And actually, most deep researchers won't do this anyway because there's better ways to do it. One of the ways that I recommend is obviously um, not to go line by line because that'll take you years. And by the time you actually finish analyzing all this, guess what? There'll probably be like 10 versions uh, later and you'll have to start all over again and you'll always be trying to play catch up. So this is not the best way to do it. This is a good way to look at the code and to, you know, learn from it, but it's not the best way to analyze the differences. All right. So the first thing I always recommend is you go download the previous versions and the current version of WordPress. So WordPress provides that for you. You can go to, to the wordpress.org forward slash download forward slash release dash archive and then you will see the various versions of wordpress and you can download you know the one that you want to analyze you can go back as far back as they'll let you go back which i believe is almost to the beginning of time well yes i think that's it right there so, all right, so you can do that. You can see the various previous versions. All right, so the next thing I recommend you do is to go to the developer.wordpress.org forward slash reference uh, guide because this is where you can, you know, look up the various functions, classes, methods, and hooks that are used by WordPress. So if you're not familiar with what a particular function or hook or class or method is, you just type it in here, search for it, and it'll give you the information about what it does and also where you can find it in the source code. So this is extremely valuable. Uh, the next thing I recommend is you to get a diff checker. Now a diff checker is a great way to identify changes uh, within code um, or within files and folders. And this is the one I recommend. It's free to use. Go to meldmerge.org and it's compatible with uh, Linux with Windows and with Mac OS and you'll probably have to use brew um, Homebrew in order to get it to work well with uh, Mac OS, but you know it works on all platforms and you can download it It's free to use. All right, so once you do that, I'm going to show you what happens. So now Let me pull up Meld merge. This is the meld merge program right here on the right and this is let me just widen this a little bit is my temp folder on the left that has the older version of WordPress and the newer version of WordPress. So I'm just going to take this folder. Um, well, first let me do a directory comparison. I'll drag it there into the first slot. I'll take the second folder and I'll drag that to the second slot. And then I'll do a comparison. It'll run the process. I'm going to let it go through its, do its thing. I'll make it widescreen now. And now it does the job for you. The way I have it configured, it's going to open up and highlight blue where the changes are made. So you see this file was changed from 4.7.1 and this file was changed as well. 
keep on navigating. Nothing was changed in this folder, nothing in that folder. The about.php file was changed. We go further down and you see, you start seeing all the files that were changed. All right, so this ex is extremely beneficial because now you don't have to go searching line by line by yourself. You get to see the files that actually changed and you can learn from that. You know, you see these are what changed. Now, a lot of files did change, actually not that many. And if you start going into the files, so let's do that. You don't have to actually go to your text editor to do this. You can do this right in Meld Merge, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's see the class WP post list table .php file. And then you're gonna see, it'll jump you directly to the first change. All right, so this is what it's uh, doing here. Um, online 958, we have, we're first starting over this if conditional statement and is negating with the exclamation point, is post type hierarchical, um, this and then screen post type and excerpt is identical, triple equal sign to the variable mode and current user can read post and the post ID, then it, the excerpt, right? So that's doing that there. So the change there is, they left it all the same except for here. They're changing it to echo escape underscore HTML and then get the excerpt. All right, so they're changing it there. And if you want to learn more about what this does, like I said before, I'm going to copy that. I will go to the code reference, put that in, press return, and you get the results. You get two results. One is a function, one is a hook. So if you look back, we see it's the function one because it has the parentheses, right? So let's go back to this one. We'll look at the get the excerpt and it tells us a little bit about what it is. You know, so it's optional post ID or WP post object default is global post return source. And it gives you the source location, description, related uses used by. So it shows you where it's used by. And then these are user contributed notes. So these are people who are, you know, giving examples and stuff like that. So this is a good way to identify, you know, what's changed within, you know, versions of WordPress, what was corrected, um, things of that nature. And if you look on the side over here, it shows you that the, in this file, there was only one correction made because you see this blue section right there. There's no other section. So I'm going to close this file out. And I'm going to go to another file. This one had more changes done. So if you look here and to the right, you have the green, you have blue, and then you have more stuff towards the bottom as well. So this is showing a code that was added or changed. So when it's green, it's code that was added, right? And in this case, it's saying that it's added here, but it's actually not. It's removed. Um, and here is, this is a code that's added telling you to, if you want to, you know, bring it into this side on the left hand side. So you can see what's taking place here. And then you see what's added over here. And then you scroll down further to the blue section. And this is what's changed. So this is a comment block. So that just shows you that that was changed. Go further down and then you see what was added because there's green markings. So here it wasn't this code here wasn't present here. So bail if user cannot cannot assign terms. So it's creating this over here. All right, if current user cannot, because you have the exclamation point, and then the taxonomy variable, cap, and then assign terms returning. So it's bailing if they cannot, right? And if they can, it continues. Only show add if user can edit terms. So that's where it continues off, where they were the same in both. So this shows you another uh, security feature that was you know, added to this particular file here. Okay, so scrolling further down, you see this is a complete addition of code because it wasn't here in a previous version. So it's creating this code that wasn't there in the 4.7.1 version. All right, so you're getting the idea. Using Meld Merge, you can identify code changes, additions, um, things of that nature. It uh, takes you directly to the location within the file um, that the changes took place, which means you don't actually have to do this. 
go line by line because look at this on this one file we have 511 you know lines of code right so you would have to like literally read all that that can that's a lot of code to read so let's exit out of that one you know let's go into something else you know this is another one i mean this is the css files the scss files but you can see it's a lot of code and who really wants to spend time doing that you know you don't want to go you know there's a uh, a crazy amount of files and folders and nested folders and you know it seems like it's the never ending the never ending list of files and folders the deeper you go the deeper you will find you will have to go in order to you know view all the files so diff checkers are definitely you know a plus in my book especially since you know it'll optimize your your time in identifying changes and also um, give you a better way to learn how to code because again the code is there for you to view this is an open source project and you know the goal is for you to uh, learn it understand it and contribute to it so you can learn from the coding styles you can see where you know potentially mistakes were made um, you know obviously every piece of software ever created has issues right because you know no one's perfect so even the best programmers and coders in the world will make mistakes and the best programmers know that they always have to refactor their code so they're always looking over the code base and identifying areas that can be improved upon so this is one way to you know to do that you know using a diff checker like meld merge to analyze the code learn from the code and you know improve your code by understand getting a better understanding of how it's all put together so definitely check out meld merge and you can get on your way to learning more about uh, wordpress and stuff now what i also recommend is just you know keep this handy developer.wordpress.org forward slash reference it is a valuable tool to help you better understand the various functions hooks classes and methods and then if you go to the code reference to the main section developer.wordpress.org you're going to see they have how to develop themes this is the theme handbook this is a plugins handbook and this is about the rest api and how to make applications so you get a lot of resources on how to work with wordpress how to create your own themes plugins and work with the rest api and you know the best standards this is why wordpress is so popular because developers are learning how to use it um, to create their own types of you know custom themes and plugins and stuff so definitely use it you know i use it on a daily basis and i learn from it on a daily basis and also if you want to look at various versions of uh wordpress dating back all the way to the beginning go to this url and you will see all the versions of wordpress and now obviously that would be a lot of stuff to analyze but it might be an interesting project for you to do to you know go back from the beginning of wordpress to where it is now and then if you go further down you see they have the beta and release candidates so you can see what direction you know they they're going in or they were going in so now we, we see they're working on 4.7.3 so you can download that and you can compare it using the meld merge diff checker um, again, Meld Merge is free. Get it from meldmerge.org and it's compatible with all operating systems. Uh, with OS 10, you would have to use Brew or Fink or Mac ports. Um, but again, it's still compatible, so you can do it. Hopefully you found this episode helpful. I just wanted to introduce you to a way to learn more about WordPress, how it works, um, what changes are made, and how you can identify that. It's a great way to learn. All right, hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be creating more videos on how to work with the WordPress software, how to build your website that's powered by WordPress and how to keep it secure and how to, you know, keep it up well optimized. All right, so don't forget to give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.